hello everyone welcome to another video in this video i will discuss about uh, how to install self-hosted agents for parallel job execution in pipeline using devops right normally we can use microsoft hosted agents but for some reason if microsoft hosted agents is not working you can create your own self-hosted agents to run your parallel jobs so let us go and create just log into uh, the dev.hu.com which will uh, open the uh, DevOps, devops portal here you have to go to organization setting first and in the organization settings you will find a option called as agent pools in agent pools you can click on the default option this is the azure pipeline which is microsoft hosted and in the next you will find default option right in the default option you can create new agent okay when you click on new agent it will ask you to download the 64-bit uh, or 32-bit uh, msa file or execution file so if you click on download it will download the execution file i have already downloaded here let me show you that so this is the file which is already downloaded here and the file is this one so this is the file whose name is vsts agent windows x64 now you have to uh, expand you have to extract this g file and this zip file will display like config run external and bin these are the files and folders which are part of the uh, downloaded agent right next thing is you have to open this and right click the config file and click on run as administrator when you click Administrator, click on yes on the prompt and here you will see a note that azure pipeline so that you can understand uh, you are ready to host it right now here you have to provide the uh, server url what is the server url url server url is the uh, path that is nothing but the organization name including dev.azure.com you can copy this and my organization is future admin so i can copy this and paste here and hit enter it is telling that enter authentication type i want to provide personal access token so just click enter next here you need to provide your personal access token you have to create a personal access token in dev dev.azu.com by navigating to the user profile and clicking on personal access tokens and here you can create new tokens i have already created a token but you can create a new token and give a name here let's say future access token new okay and here you can define the expired date and you can provide the custom access uh, uh, for this access token or you can give full access depending on your requirement you can uh, enable this or customize this or you can give full access let me give full access and click on create now this will create a personal access token you can copy this and use in the command prompt and click on enter now once you enter it will connect to the server and ask you enter agent pool press enter for default so i want to use the default pool, agent pool so click on this enter enter agent name press enter for logical i want to give a new uh, name of this agent let's say i want to give a new name for example let's say uh, self host agent sub chief so this will be my agent name now it is telling it is scanning for tool capabilities and it is now connecting to the server successfully added the agent testing agent connection now it is telling that enter work folder so now you can just just press enter to create a uh, working folder automatically now it is asking another question enter run agent as a service i want to run as a service so press y and press enter it, it is again asking enter enable service unregistered for agent service press y 
enter user account to use for this service yes so i want to press just enter to use uh, network service as a, a login user now it will create the authentication for the login user it is asking enter whether to prevent service starting immediately after configuration is finished yes okay now when you click the yes now the command prompt is disabled now if you go to the service or if you go to the uh, again to the uh, azure devops and organization settings and then you will go to agent pool you will find inside defaults in the agents you will find a an agent with the same name that is created but now it is offline what you can do you can make it online so that the agent will work for your pipeline executions how to make it online so just go to your windows and search services when you click on services it will open the services box and here if you refresh it when you refresh it it will it will show you a azure pipeline agent this azure pipeline agent is already i have created which is running and this is i have just created now uh, whose name is self host agent subship now it is not running so right click and click on start once you click on start it will uh, become online okay it's because already i have already running one that's why it is showing error so so the point here is once you click on start it will display online it's the first one is displaying online it's, it is i have already started this job it is running and now it is showing as online so i can use this uh, use this uh, agent for my pipeline execution i hope you understand how to uh, deploy or how to register a self hosted agent for your parallel jobs in pipeline execution in ci cd azure devops thanks everyone watching this video bye